Welcome to Mega Path Presents. I'm Ronnie Hayes, and today we are back with some live gameplay of Metro Exodus. This is part two, or our second gameplay. There was, I was gonna do just like an upload of the gameplay for part two, but there was a lot of support last night with the uh, gameplays, the live stream gameplays. I'm sorry, so I figured tonight we would continue that and get another live stream one up as well they, they're not always going to be live stream we're going to have some that's you know pre-recorded and whatnot let me pop out the chat see what you guys are saying oh my god <clears throat> hit x get rid of that music jeez that music uh we got another copyright claim officially now all of uh telltale's the walking dead is copyright claims for music and you guys were right. They finally got me for the intro music before it was the music in the end credits. So then I cut those out or tried my best to, but now they're they're getting me for the actual intro, which is the Walking Dead intro for Telltale. It's it's ridiculous. And you know what's funny too is Telltale offered me the entire series for free to play it. You know, I chose to turn that down and just buy it to that way my opinion wouldn't be biased or swayed either way. And people would know for sure, like, yeah, we're buying these. They offered it on the computer, though, not not the PS4. I don't know if that would have been a difference. Wow, dude, guys, right off the bat, you're trying to start some shit with the group, huh? Well, as long as you guys keep a friendly banter back and forth, I guess the chat versus dude guys will be a thing. He has this obsession with Clementine. You guys know all too well, though. I think it's because you guys didn't like it, so now he's trolling you. All right, let's see here. Let's share this on Facebook, and we're good to go. Share that. It takes a minute. That's what I noticed with this game. It does take a minute. I'm hoping I'm fresh now. I haven't played a video game all day. I've been cleaning a house and stuff and getting other things done. Uh, prepping for more mail outs of my comic Doomsday Kingdom tomorrow. We are waiting for, obviously, if you have an order in for Doomsday Kingdom, there's two on hold right now. I'm waiting for the signed copies to come from the UK. That's on its way. And then the posters. Any orders with posters... Uh, there was a delay with the shipment of posters. We had to go with a different company, so I'm just waiting um, for those to get in. As soon as they get in, I'll ship them right out. So, And your orders are already pulled as far as comics and stuff. I'm just waiting to get the orders in and ship them right out. So, uh, Everything's a process. Oh, and then the new orders. If anyone put in new orders for January and February, obviously, we're going to be banging those out soon, too. So... Um, beginning of March, right around the beginning of March, we should be all caught up in that way. Anyone ordering, uh, it should be as they put in orders, they'll go, they'll get shipped like the, the following week, let me say. A lot of them are going to get shipped that day. You know, you put in the order that day or the next day, you're getting shipped. But I just want to put that buffer because if something happens and it's busy and it takes a few days, I don't want people being like, well, what the hell? Come on, what is going on with this? I mean, I don't have to push anything, right? Look, I'm pushing, I'm spamming buttons. What do I do? Does it take this long for everyone else? I don't get it. It's got numbers down there. 63, 64. What does that mean? 65, 90, 3. Is that loading? Holy shit, that's loading? Wow. That takes a while. All right, I do have to run out and get my iced tea, though, because I am thirsty. Okay, so here's the game. We're good. We're picking up where we left off last night. Let me pull up the chat so I can see what you guys are saying. All right. Oh, no, I'm sorry. I turned down the game volume. Let me turn that up a bit. There we go. There we go. Neck deep, bitches. All right. Wait. I thought that was reload. Right. Even turning the... I will say there is something stiff. And it feels like you have brakes on. Even turning the sensitivity up in certain areas. And I think they should just chill 
and let you move all the same. I do like the view though. Look at that. As far as what they did with uh, the world, I do like it. The story right now, I'm not all that sucked into it. Bro, I have been expanding some of the story for Doomsday Kingdom. Oh my god. And you know what gave birth to this idea? Well, partly. There was already this idea somewhat in Doomsday Kingdom, but it was going to be a, a part of the story that would be in video game form. So let's say if we did, and this is just if we ever did get successful and we created a video game for Doomsday Kingdom, there's a part of the game where you would be first person shooter or third person in all reality if we get it done right. But the original idea was first person shooter and you were transporting cargo. Oh, what are you doing down there, buddy? And uh, I really shouldn't give it away because it is still a part of the canon, the actual story. But... Wait. But let me just tell you, I fleshed it out today and oh my god, I friggin' love it. But I got part of the idea from... Narcos, if anyone's watching Narcos on Netflix, watch it. I watched the first two seasons or three seasons, and they got a new Narcos Mexico or some shit like that. At least I haven't seen any normal people. And it's weird because it's not a new season. Hmm. So wait, do I go somewhere? It's not a new season, but when you look it up on Netflix, it's not like season four of Narcos. It's its own separate show, like a spinoff. But the same characters from the other seasons are in parts of it. They make cameos. So like I said, it's weird, but it's good. It's really good. Thank you, Artyom. If not for you, we'd never have escaped that place. You're welcome. I wanted a piece of that, but never mind. What? There's one hell of a radioactive hotspot between this place and the port. The readings are off the scale. So you better take a boat. We found one and docked it under the bridge. Well, unless you're afraid of the monster. Duke told us over the radio. Alright, so I go this way. This is the one thing that I fear about having this game open world. Is getting confused and wandering too much. So I'm going to try to listen to what they say. He said it was under the bridge. Wait. Why am I... Do I got to put that on? Ooh, look at that. I got some shit, yo. Alright, I guess I got to go this way no matter what. I feel like they tried a little too hard with the story. Uh, are you making a video about Chandler Riggs' recent comments about his acting? Yeah, I was going to plan that to be the upload f before this stream, but I had to get a bunch of things done around the house. I really had to. I'm in the middle of uh, a phase with Juliet where she's getting increasingly lazy. I'll be honest with you. Not picking up after herself and this, that, and the third. So we had to buckle down on some things. But uh, we're working on it. Oh, shit. Wait. How do I get there? Oh. See, that's one thing I don't... Okay, so... If this is essentially open world, this whole map is going to be the world that we play in, right? See, at first I was thinking it was just going to be mission to mission. I think I, for this type of game, I think I'd prefer that. Uh, are you going to review Narcos? I don't know. I might do an overall dis review of all the seasons. It'll boil down to this. Go watch them. <laughs> They're good. But I do want to talk about some of the pros and cons. Hey Ronnie, welcome me to your video. I missed it. Wait, hey Ronnie, welcome me to your video. I missed it. What's up, Heath? I don't think I understand what you said, though. Did you like the Bastard Executioner? I didn't watch that. That was the Kurt Sutter one. I was excited he had a new show coming up, but to be honest, some of the promos looked a little corny, and then by the time I got around to... Alright, I'm going to check it out. It was cancelled, so I just never got around to it. 
The water looks great. Yeah, it really does. Dude, guys, thank you very much for the dono. I appreciate the support to the channel. It absolutely helps keep this going. I think they're spitting some yellow shit at me. Look at it. That sucks. Yeah, I don't know what do I do. Do I go across the land? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, shit. Oh, yo, yo, hold up, bro. Really? Oh, come on, man. Holy shit! There's no one told me there's zombies. What? All right, I'm playing this all wrong. I think. <laughs> no one told me there's zombies. What the hell? Yikes. Alright, and I don't even know how I... Alright. Uh, do guys with a $5 dono. Is that a new one? Thank you very much for the dono. Even though you're annoyed for me at talking about a video game model, I'm giving you money. I'm a loyal bro like that. Well, I appreciate that. I don't think I was annoyed, though. I think you might be thinking about that. Unless simply just mentioning something... Leads you to believe I'm annoyed. I haven't been annoyed yet. I feel like if I if I get annoyed, I, I think I'm pretty confident I'll let you know. Wait a minute. I don't remember how to... Uh, there, wait. There we go. There's a lot of different shit to remember. I think with game, with Fortnite, for example, there's a lot of different movements and buttons and yada yada yada. I feel like that gets a little easier to learn because you use them frequently. But like building and shooting, building and shooting, editing and building and editing and shooting. You know what I mean? But with this game, you could go a while without having to pull out your lighter. So by the time you have to pull it out, you kind of forget. Oh wait a minute, what? Yo, do I even need my mask? I got a crack in my mask. I don't get when I need my mask and when I don't. Maybe the game will tell me. Ooh, what do we have here? What is this? <clears throat> 1741? For what? Mm. Alright, I gotta go this way. How's this game in terms of gameplay, not live streams? In terms of gameplay, it's a bit rough. It's a bit rough. Now, the first two wasn't perfect polished gems either now don't forget what the hell <sighs> yeah they took a little bit to get going and, and you got into it and even then they weren't still po polished perfect fun experiences they were fun and enjoyable but it wasn't polished perfect you know what I'm saying they were a bit rocky to get going so I don't mind this 
being a little rocky to get going. Some of it, it feels a little... I'll try to pay attention. Maybe that that is it. Right now, I don't recommend this game right now. It's not one where you play and immediately you recommend. I would say if you're in the, this style, first person, post-apocalyptic, I would tell you, yeah, wait till it's on sale for 20 bucks at this time, though. If it gets better, I get a little used to the controls. Maybe it smooths, it, smooths out a bit. I would tell you, oh yeah, get it now. But at this time, I'm gonna say wait till it's on sale. There's more. Oh my god, that one's... Oh shit, I don't know what the hell... Yeah, it's clunky. It doesn't even feel finished. I'll be honest, it doesn't feel finished. Have you guys played this game? Come up here. I can't wait till I get different guns, though. I just don't like the guns I got. Especially that pistol. For something that takes so slow, you would think it would be a little more powerful. Kyle B, thank you very much for the fight, Aladono. Yeah, I just bought a PS4 for Last of Us and Days Gone. Any other PS4 exclusives I should look out for? Keep the great systems, keep the great streams coming. Uh, thank you very much. PS4 exclusives. God of War is a popular one. I like Crash Bandicoot. I think that's still an exclusive. Uncharted. Would... Yeah, and that's another thing. I don't know if it's just me or what, but there's so much fucking talking. Everyone just talk, 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 talk like motherfucker. If we play this game till the end, I'll be surprised. I'm not even kidding you right now. Yeah, I'm sick of you running your mouth. Bandits, beasts all around. Lots of space across the Volga, though. Plenty of opportunity. So He's still going. I'm here with my rail car full of trading goods, hoping to make a few sales. Bro, I don't care about your background. Just what, a fool what do I do I next? I was lucky to get out alive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, since anyway. you arrived, I've been thinking of this little plan I had, never had a chance to pull off alone, but since you guys are also going east, now judging by what I could see with my binoculars, it's a You already beat this and you're on your second playthrough? God bless uh, you. By the way, take the binoculars. I'll show you where everything is. Would I have preferred Trip being a playable character in Season 3 ra rather than we'll Javier? Well... It should lower if the that all depends on what they did works. with the character, you know what I mean? Know I've never been to the like, if you were Trip yeah, instead of Javier, it wouldn't change Jewish anything. Anger. It's still That's the same terrible. story. The cult is Even further right, see the building near all those carriages? Used to be a train depot. There are some bandits there now, but the place itself ain't bad. 
Oh, the area nearby isn't too bad either. There's a good hunting and stuff. I set up several safe camps around there. If you find them, you could rest, fix your equipment. <laughs> Unless you prefer spending nights at an open campfire. Now, come on, let me show you my home now. Oh my god, now we're gonna go find this guy's home. Alright, L1. Use or hide your binoculars. It's not doing shit. Maybe I gotta hold it in. Alright. Nope. Well, might as well craft something while I'm here. Let's see. Craft a med kit. How does this work? 5 and 20. I don't have enough. Nope. What about this? Wait, what about this? What does that mean? Steel balls. These 15 millimeter steel balls pried out of bearings become the ideal ammo for makeshift weapons due to their smooth... Wait a minute! When we ended the game last night, we got a new gun. Right? Or am I thinking of... Am I thinking of something different? Um... Throwing knife, decoy can... Oh, shit, I can craft knives. Well, what's this? Steel balls. I crafted ten balls. <laughs> what? Do, I don't get it. Crafting costs ten of those, zero of those. Dismantle for two. So I have... Alright, I got 50, 49 bullets now, I guess. So what's R1? Okay. Alright, wait a minute. What's all this? Light grip. Light handgun grip to reduce weapon weight. What's that? Install. Sniper stock wooden grip and sniper wooden stock for a hunter rifle. Greatly reduces recoil. Well, wait a minute. Why would that go onto a pistol? Uh, whatever. Um, standard barrel. I think I'm going to keep the silence aspect to that. Iron sights. Three shot cylinder. No gadget. Alright, I guess that's it. Alright, now how do I... Pick? No, motherfucker. Give me a second, guys. I Wait. Oh, alright. I guess that's an improvement. Backpack. R1 for the gun. L2. R2. That's my pistol. Got it now. Light grip. Short. Iron sight. Small magazine. So I have nothing for that. Let's go to this one. See, I do have three guns. So where the hell is it? Sniper stock. can't use it oh I must be using it for the other gun reflex sight That's it. Three guns. The only question, though, is how do I switch between them? And should I even put a stock on this? Oh, there we go. You got to hold it in. So you can hit triangle for the two guns and hold triangle in for this boy. Woo, buddy. I want to shoot something now. <laughs> I don't know if it's automatic or semi or what. Anyway. 
I don't mean to bore you guys, but some of this stuff I, I gotta learn or else... I don't know what the point of the lights are. Like, what's the point, bro? Where'd this guy go? Do I jump down there? No. Oh, here's a ladder. Dude, guys, another $5 dollar don't know. Thank you very much. You better be getting your car fixed, though, brother. I'm gonna hunt you down. I appreciate the support. Uh, when Doomsday Kingdom makes millions and you're rich, can you buy every single neck of Predator? Your room will overflow. You'll be neck deep. <laughs> Absolutely, bro. Yo, I can steal his shit. Bro, if I was rich, I would buy every neck of Predator. Absolutely. I'd buy them today. And then do a video showcasing every single one. Come on, don't be shy. All right, so this is med kit. I can craft, craft that. Um, what is this? I don't have any. Wow, that costs a lot to craft that. What is this? Hand grenade. It would take 30 to craft, though. Ooh, what's this? Look, we got guns. Oh, shit. That looks pretty cool. That looks cool. What is this? Ooh, I like that. I like that. Put that on. See, this is what I don't get. Why do I have a sniper stock on my pistol? Get rid of that shit. I might need that for a different gun. I want the silencer, though. It's kind of cool how you can see it. Alright, and then I got this big boy. And then, what's this? Wait a minute, gas mask repair. Carry out field repairs on your gas mask using whatever is handy. This is helmet. Electrical. Wait, wait, what? Compass. Sturdy compass attached to your bracelet will allow you to point in the direction you should be heading. Hell yeah! Let's get it in. Install, bro. Did I install it? I guess so. Alright, so we should... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I screwed up. I screwed up. I screwed up. I was supposed to fix my gas mask, I think. I'm sorry if this is boring, guys. I would imagine the crafting stuff for watching gets pretty boring. Repair. Wait, what happened? Carry out field repairs. How much does it cost, though? Oh, 12. Wait, I don't get what's going on. Nine. Oh, I gotcha. So it's completely fixed now. I think. <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know. Uh, I'll, I'll catch up. Or do you mean you'll neck a deep? I'll be neck a deep, bro. That's funny. That's friggin' hilarious. Um, it's not showing me any, but let me look on the site because for some reason for certain ones it doesn't show. That's another story, though. Jack Lewis with a five dollar don't know. Need sleep soon. Love your vids for years. Do you think that the show could, should have more named important whispers than just Alpha or Beta? Yeah, I wouldn't mind a few more, other than Alpha and Beta for sure. <clears throat> for sure. I'm taking a nap. <laughs> so what do I do? Just sit here and rest? Oh, 
Oh, we're gonna get some sponsors. Don't you worry. Do I get... I, what do I... Bro. I don't get it. Get me fucking out of here. I regret this immediately. Oh, okay. Where did he go? Is he up there? Oh, he's out here. Take the zip line down. Just hook up and away you go. Just go on ahead. I'll get We're going to get some sponsors, don't you worry. Cuz we got some big plans, man. I do I really do want to make a uh our own official like 45 minute short, you know? Something neat, something with monsters, something unique, something small, something, you know, tense. Well done. I would like members of the map family to be able to get involved in some way. Anyone who is into anything, even from creating a poster for um, graphics or anyone involved in editing or even if in person, anyone who's into lighting or sound or um, all the technical stuff, you know what I mean? We're not... I'm going to make this call just simply based on... Oh, fuck. Whoa! He threw a, a brick at me, bro. Damn it. Are you shitting me? Oh man, I like this gun. Oh, okay. But like I said, we're gonna focus on the technical stuff, and we'll we'll leave the when it comes to like acting and stuff. We will leave that for another day to figure out because. Let's be honest, uh, everyone wants to do acting, right? I mean, if you had... Come on, what are we doing? I think that'll be the most sensitive topic, is finding the actors. Because obviously everyone's going to be like, Oh my god, I want to do it, da, da da But when it comes to the acting, if we had a story done, you know, set, we would have to actually cast people with um, who has the charisma and who can actually do it. And then you get into hurting someone's ego because, you know... Someone might think that they got it, you know, what it takes, and maybe they're not right for the role. Newcomers, they just don't have a lot. I should say a lot of up-and-comers. They just don't understand that concept. Not everyone's perfect to the right for the right role. Like, I think there's some roles out there, when, if it came to acting, I would have no problem going for the casting call. But I'm actually self-aware enough to know that I'm not good for the role of Negan. Not even close. Like, that's that's the worst casting decision you can do. I should not be Negan. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm well aware of that. I'm self-aware. There's some actors, believe it or not, that they think they should do anything. And I do get... I do get that if it wasn't tied to the comic and they just needed a Negan type and it didn't matter what he looked like and what, yada, yada, yada... Sure, then it, you're a lot more flexible. Alright, so I should have that thing stuck to my arm. I don't... I see it on my arm, but I don't really understand. Oh, okay, there's a little dot. So this way. Yo, back up, bird. You're right, it sounds great. Um, I'm good at sound with editing as well. What about, what do you mean sound with editing? You mean sound and editing? What about recording sound or like a boom operator? Hold in R3. Oh shit. I mean, I can sneak around, right? Man, having that compass is neat because I don't even need to pull out the map. I could just kind of look at my arm there. Tiffany Sullivan coming in hot. With a $20 dono.
Ronnie, love your channel and the work you put into it. Neck deep. Hell yeah, Tiffany. Thank you very much. Appreciate that support. Wait, is this killing me? What? Alright, I guess it's killing me for some reason. I don't know why. Oh shit, I don't even have bullets for that gun. Where's all the bullets? Here? Oh. Wait, what? Chat, I'll admit, I don't know what's going on. Well, that's where I gotta go. I am pretty sure that's killing me, though. Are you a good actor? I don't know, bro. I don't know, to be honest. I think we'll find out. <laughs> what did I do? I think we'll find out, bro. We got some surprises coming for you. Yeah, the Matt family will find out later on this year. And you can be the judge of that. <clears throat> I hope I charge these. This is basically the Russian Fallout. Yeah, I guess so. I like the idea of Fallout. I got it, but for some reason I put it in and I was excited to get going. I was exploring and I was I was having fun, but I don't know. Somewhere along the lines, it can't, it just felt like there was there was just some some stuff added into the game that I just kind of was felt like it was a little too much, which is weird to say. But I know there's people that get a, a real trip out of being able to break down sticks and make bunkers and like you could create your own house and it's kind of like Minecraft you could do whatever type of house and at first I was like oh man you know that sounds neat but then it was just like I, I don't know man <laughs> that's a bit much I'm gonna get my iced tea hold on one sec Fallout is better. How do you make a story less action-packed? Ethy, I feel like that's a trick question. How do you make a, a story less less action-packed? Bro, you just take out the action. You know, it depends on what kind of story. Is it fighting? Is it a, a drug movie? If it, like for example, Narcos, take out any conflict. There you go, no action. Not sure why you would do that, though. This is tricky. That area kills me. Yeah, I'll be honest, chat. I wasn't listening to what this guy said. So I'm absolutely confused as far as what I'm doing with this. I know I'm supposed to go over here, but what do I do? Apparently it'll kill me.
Why am I breathing like that? Do I need my mask on? Wait, what is that? Oh, what is that, yo? That's a shotgun? Okay, so I have my rifle. And then I got a shotgun now. Jeez. I guess we'll try it. Do I... Alright, I'll try it. Oh, shit. The actor that plays Pablo Escobar is a genius. He's so different in real life. Yeah? He did good with Pablo Escobar. On Narcos, that is. Tarantino's new Manson movie this year. Yeah, I'm hyped for that. Spent 20 plus hours building settlements and then I remembered I was supposed to be looking for my son. <laughs> See what I mean? When you, you get going with a game like that, it's so big. It's just... I, I kind of feel like, honestly, that game would have been better for my personal taste. And it, it is what it is. But if it, when you have a complex stuff like that, build up to it. Like start out small and then... I don't know, have your character start building like small things and then add on to it. Because you start the game and all of a sudden you get out of the vault, next thing you know you you can build a whole freaking mansion if you want to, just go collect a bunch of sticks. That shit is gone. Yeah, why is there an X here? Am I supposed to do something with this? Uh, what am I doing here? I guess I'll just go to uh, the train, the house, the boat. I don't know. Does anyone in the map family know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing? This way. The Walking Dead got woke. They need to go broke. How so? How did it specifically go woke, in your opinion? Hey, is my boat not here? Oh, my bad. It's down here further. Are there any actors on The Walking Dead currently who aren't carrying their weight and need to be fired? Hmm, actors on The Walking Dead that are, aren't carrying their weight. Bro, if my boat is over here, how is there radiation? I mean, I fucking put the boat here. Why is the light off? Oh, because I don't like how... I just don't like it. I like that light up there going? instead. It's charging only 20 minutes and then you gotta plug it back in. Uh, well, actually, no. You gotta... Honey, it's 9 o'clock. Get your bath done. Oh my god. Chill, bro. Alright, where did I put that boat at? 
to the right. Uh, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did I fall or jump into muck? And I, I think I jumped into muck. I don't think that was solid ground. I think I jumped. I'll give Chad, I'll be honest. I don't think I like this game. Like, not even a little. <laughs> I will be honest. I don't think I like this. Uh, Tara beat Beta with her bare hands. She better not. Ronnie, go to the last checkpoint and re-listen. Um... I think it would probably be quicker if I just rewind the video and listen to what the guy says, you know? Um, but I don't want to sit here and ignore the chat the whole time and not chit-chat with you guys. And then the game should have objectives like every other well-made game. I mean, every literally every other well-made game will tell you you gotta go to the boat. Go do this. It'll have a list of a list of objectives to do. I'm sure this game. It's gotta have objectives. Maybe I'm missing it somewhere. I'm even hurting. All right. Here's my. <laughs> Quick load, last load, collectibles, hints, mastering combat, different weapons, different tactical. That's mastering combat. Map. If you are lost or just forgot what your current mission is, produce your map. The compass will point you in a correct direction. While the notes in your pad on the back side of the map will remind you of immediate goals. There we go. An icon appearing in the top left corner of the screen signifies that your mission goals or map were updated. Okay, that makes sense a little bit. Alright, so light indicator. The light indicator essentially shows how easy to see you are. If you are lit well enough for the enemies to notice you, the indicator, indicator on your watch lights up. Take a closer look at your watch to see it better. Oh, gotcha. See, that's a good thing to know, too. The intro of this game should have walked you through all that, though. In my opinion, I like games that do that. Start you out, you have nothing. Here's a watch, here's an indicator, here's a map, here's a compass, here's how it works, and you piece by piece, eh, whatever. Um, Alright, so, if you pull out your map, the back of the map, How do I turn it around? There we go. Find Anna. Anna's gone off the grid. I know she can stand up for herself better than most of us, and I might be worrying over nothing, but I can't just continue as nothing happened when she might be in trouble, of course. The local people and animals aren't much of a threat, but still. All right, so find Anna, and I got to go to that X, which is odd because there was nothing there. Maybe I missed something. Okay, so let's go to that X. All right, we're making progress. I feel a little better about this now. Now, where's my watch? I think that little meter down there is whether people can see me or not. See, it's green right now. I think of it. Let me test this out. No, I don't know how it works, to be honest. Okay, there's my watch. Huh? Gotta go this way. Alright, we're making some progress. Alright, we're here already. So X marks the spot. This is where Anna is. Where you at, Anna? Where are you? Where's... Whoa! Whoa! What was that? <laughs> Bro. I just fell through the ground. It was like a blue light. <laughs> But 
that I heard you and couldn't leave you. <coughs> Listen, I'll even admit, I think Terra's character is even doing better this season. I don't think Terra's actor is a terrible actress. I think there's story parts with Terra that were just not interesting. Thank God Anna is alive. I have to get her out of here as soon as possible. She's breathing the poison air of this bunker all the time. She was unconscious after her fall. All right, well, let's go, bro. Let's get her ass out of here. All right. All right, we got a light. See, chat? Okay. I went from almost being interested, almost sure I was about to shut the game off to being interested again, just by knowing how to use the map and move around the world a little better. So let's get this done. Now I just need to figure out how to use my lighter. Uh, there we go. Got it. Got it, chat. Uh, at Fox seven 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 with a uh, dono super chat. Would you be disappointed if Carol slashed out his throat? Uh, I kind of want her to do it because of her progression on the show. Hmm, that's a good question. I think, I like the idea of Alpha. Wait, wait, whoa, whoa, what are you doing, bro? Okay, I'm, you're only supposed to hit it. I like the idea of Carol versus Alpha. But I just don't know for, for defeating her, you know what I'm saying? It all depends on how they play it out. If I shoot the lock off. Haha, <laughs> chat. I'm smart. You thought I was stupid? You think I'm stupid? I'm gonna shoot the lock? Oh, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. See, this is what I don't get. What am I supposed to do? Do I trade my shotgun? I'm not doing it. Alright, I'll trade. Oh, shit, yeah, give me that. Hold on, Anna. I'm looting. New notes. I'll come get you as soon as I'm done. I don't know if that light helps us or what. Can't do anything with that shit. Here's the problem. I'm supposed to be getting Anna out of here. Bro, put your fucking light away, will you? If I'm supposed to be getting at Anna out of here, then do I pick her up? Let's go. Anna, come on. What the? Come on, Anna. What are you doing? Come on. Get up. All right. Well, I guess I'll just go find a way out. Dirtier your weapons get, the more it, its performance degrades. Any workbench will allow you to fix the dirt problem. Okay, that sucks. I didn't know that. I'll try not to get dirty then. So I guess I'm supposed to find an exit without her. That's weird, but okay, I'll do it. 
Uh oh, look at those weird fungi. Let me grab that. Whoa, what? Can it see me? Now's a good time to practice the the watch thing. So how does it show if he sees me or not? Or if I'm in the light or something? You know what? I don't got time for this shit. I'm going in. Shit, there's more of them. Damn. Oh. 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 shit! Come on, dare you. Is that all you got? You got any goodies? No? Look at you laid out. Flat on your back like old bitch. Oh, shit. Whoa! That tore his ass up. Hold on, Anna. I'm looking for a way out. Yikes. Do I go in there? No. How many bullets do I got? I need to get rid of that gun, I think. I can't find any bullets for it. Oh, maybe I need to make some. Yeah, I'm not even going to remember my way back to her. That room is empty. Oh! <laughs> oh, shit. So can I go where he came from? I don't think so. Man, I'm loading up on goodies. I should be able to make some bullets and health and and everything. No, well, probably not because it takes like 30 freaking whatever to make one thing. But yeah, if anyone's new here and you're looking for a, a movie recommend or TV recommend... I highly recommend Narcos on Netflix. There's a brand new season out, so you can even start there first. I think it would be interesting if you start there first because the way it connects to the origin the first few seasons, it's good. Oh, you like the uh, Ninja Turtles reviews? Yeah, NECA did an amazing job with those. Just, they're, it's incredible. They are absolutely a, a work of art. Like the sculpting, the guy who sculpted them, oh my god. Just a work of art, man. I'm running out of bullets fast. They're incredible. Somebody asked if they were my top favorite NECA, and I'm a huge Predator fan, right? But... I was looking around at all the different stuff, and I'm like, I got a couple Predators that are in top 10 for sure, but the Ninja Turtles as a whole, like the four set, 
I think they're my number one, man. It, number one or number two. But they're up there. And that's as far as the quality, the detail. I mean, oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, why did... Wait, what? This whole time that's been beeping? Oh, it's a minute. It beeps when there's a minute. I got it. I'm shaking the paddle for the flashlight, thinking it's freaking, uh... But last of us. All right, now what? Mm. Those crackheads are fat. <laughs> Those damn crackheads, yo. Jeez, they're vicious. Oh, I get it. Instead of me carrying her out, help end up coming. Help comes. It's good I can't plan me. Oh, what is this place? See the barrels? They're chemicals of some kind. This place is either for storage or it's in the dump. And that short could have been put there by the locals to mark. Thank you, my love. Oh, okay, all right. So, uh, Arjun, let's pick her up now? No way in hell. I can... I can walk just fine. I'll pay 2000 for Ronnie to do a 24-hour live stream. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you know you have to pay up front, right? <laughs> not gonna beat me in the head. <laughs> and it has to be direct, not YouTube, because they, they'll take half of that shit. Dad, it's me. My radio battery died. I got it wet. <laughs> Don't try to that, troll me, bro. Artyom and the guys are here. If I did something like that for real, though, that'd have to be set up. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be able to do it just like at the drop of a hat. Cause who's gonna feed my daughter, take her to school? You know what I mean? <laughs> and I have to, no matter what, take breaks. I could leave the stream open, but I, I'd have to take breaks, to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner. First, I'd have to get a comfortable chair. You pay two grand, and I'll go get a comfortable chair, and then you're on. <laughs> it's on. <laughs> Head back. Help Stepan persuade my father about letting Katya and Nastya travel with us. Artyom, I am feeling better now. Really, I am. All right, whatever. Jeez. I gotta make some bullets, guys, or else I'm not gonna make it. Ronnie's so smart. Laugh out loud. Good move. <laughs> Mm. Hunting stock. That increases stability, but... Double barrel. Mm. I'll stick with the double barrel. Accuracy with less. All right, whatever. Ah, oh, no, it's not what I wanted to do, bro. I had to make bullets. See, how do I do that? Oh, I can only make them at the tables. Oh, that sucks. Juliet can listen to me talk about The Walking Dead instead of school. What would it be? A 24-hour live stream for what, though? What would it be? Like, gaming, talking, all of it. I mean, that would get kind of tricky because I would have to learn how to do the OBS and this at the same time because right now I'm using uh, right now I'm using just the Elgato I don't even know how to get it going 4k 
for Elgato and searching the web at the same time because we can like look up news articles and talk all day and whatever you know so I don't know that's something to talk about mm, what's the most underrated character in The Walking Dead what do you guys think most underrated I that's tricky especially with Especially with The Walking Dead, because I feel like after all these years, everyone gets talked about. Like, everyone has people that like them, you know? Wait a minute. I think I can go in here. Whoa, get me in there. There we go. Now I can make some bullets. Maybe watch a full season and a half of The Walking Dead. Right. Magnum ammo. Assault. Buckshot. Alright, let's get some bullets made. Craft is... Yikes. That's kind of expensive, no? I mean, I don't have that many gears, but... I have a lot of the... The beaker. Whatever the hell that's supposed to be. Damn. I need to find some... Stuff to craft. Well, I'm broke now. Jeez. Okay. Ammo's gonna be tough to come across in this game. I wonder if I could switch that for this. Yeah, I can. I can break down that silencer, though. How many bullets do I got? Yeah, we're doing it. I'm taking a silencer. And then I should be able to craft it onto here. Ooh, look at that. We got a butt stock and bigger magazine. Boom. No silencer, though. Yikes. Oh, shit. No wonder why you got a lot of that. You got to clean the weapons. Look, look how dirty that gun is. Alright. See what I mean, though? I, some of that, I guess people find that neat. I find that a little frustrating. You know? Like, you got to do so much. You got to build weapons. Uh, what the hell is that? I'm kind of cool with putting the, the parts off and on, like if you want a, a stock or scope, silencers, that is actually pretty cool to be able to change and swap. But when it comes to cleaning the guns and all that other shit, uh, I don't know about all that. Whoa, what is that? Look at that crazy shit. have to go this way. It's the only piece of land that's connected. Mm. I haven't seen Overlord yet, no. I tried to rent it everywhere around me and it's sold out. I even was contemplating buying it at Target. Swear to God, I was there shopping in the morning and I went back later on and it was already sold out completely. The only thing left was like DVDs and I'm not paying $20 for a DVD. Hell out of here. I buy Blu-ray only. Yeah, I'm that type of snob. I'm, I don't buy DVD. I don't like them. They're just a little too grainy. For my tastes. 
I made it. Look at that. Maybe I'm not so shitty at the game. Help us here. The old man won't let Katya and Nastya come with us. Even though Katya told us where to find a passenger car in great condition. Yeah, when Gabriel dropped that scripture and then shot the savior. Yeah, that was badass. Right, did you see Aaron from The Walking Dead did a podcast? Uh, no, I didn't. He talks about getting on the show. Always neat to hear how actors get it. Yeah, I like hearing about that stuff. I, uh, we, Do a multi-game live guess. stream, including The Last of Us and Fortnite? I'd have to cut The Last of Us out of there. Nobody watched the uh, Last of Us gameplay. Maybe they... I mean, no one was interested. It doesn't look like there's anyone interested here. I mean, last night we had a few hundred people in, but we only got 64 people watching. I think that's probably the lowest we've we've had in a while. I don't think many people are interested in this. I get more than that with Fortnite, <laughs> and people hate Fortnite on this channel. Yes, I even told him about the carriage and the train people. We came all the way here in it. It's very good. We prepared it for the long trip. It's very good. Luckily, it's okay. She did the guess. I have to get back to the. Oh, I gotta get back to the colonel. All right. Where's the colonel at? Is he in here? Hey, what's up, buddy? All right. Welcome to the crew. Thank you. Won't let you down. Hey, Artyom, see how it all worked out? Come here, Artyom. Have a seat. Look, we have an opportunity yeah, dude, guys, to even doing auditions would be a little tricky. Uh, just because... Do business with them. I don't... So, like, for example, what, what state you live in. We'd have to figure out where, where everyone lives. We would likely do just lo a local casting call. That's how it works. If anyone wants to come in, I, I mean, that's crazy, but... If they can afford that, I mean, that'll help, but it'd likely be local. That'd, that'd probably be the only thing we can do. Colonel, sir, we can't just leave them here. They will be eaten alive. Yeah, appreciate that five dollar dono, dude, guys. Yeah, the movie, that's why I hesitate bringing it up, because um, it's not going to be for a while. It's not like something I have planned in a few months. I'm talking late 2019, early 2020, maybe even just in 2020. When we start it, so. Still, I, I know we can't leave them. Let's just collect that carriage Katya told us about while we wait. We can't leave the child here. And anyhow, how long are we going to sleep in turns for? Are you starting that again? How? Who's better, how TV show or, or Negan or I'm Governor? Better how, there. though? How? No, you like, don't need it. I better don't villains, better characters, better acted? Like I'm, I'm picking Negan. I didn't like TV Governor. I liked the actor and his charisma. But the storytelling, the writing, I didn't like for the most of it. I liked season four a lot. A lot, a lot. Yeah, I'm still streaming Last of Us Part 2. That'll People want to watch that, but like I said, no one wants to watch Last of Us Part 1. It's old. Uh, we tried it, and we went, what, 15 parts? I don't think we got more than 1,000 people to watch. No, maybe 2,000 at the most. Like, they're just, I don't know, it's just, you have a good chunk of people who want to watch the last one, but the majority want to watch something that's new and fresh. So we'll play Last of Us 2 because it's new and hot and fresh, but I wouldn't play The Last of Us Part 1 again on stream. No one wants to watch that. The numbers say that. Or maybe no one wants to watch me play it. <laughs> Bottom line, it's not going to happen. If you go at night, there's less of a chance you might run into bandits. They stay at their camps when it's dead. But, it's not but I'd stare at a wall if someone was paying two grand for it. So, at the end of the day, who's ever paying? It's up to them. I don't care. <laughs> it's their pick. Think about your options before heading out. Artyom, Duke is on a mission in that area. He's keeping tabs on the bridge. Reception is bad there. We get mostly static from him. Anyway, if you meet him, he'll update you on the latest developments in the terminal. 
I bet you've conspired with Anna and Stefan. Hey, I care for those two no less than you. But we don't know if what's ahead is any better than the fanatics. I guess we'll have to live and see. Well, yeah, if we were doing any type of big project, uh, you guys would be the first to know on the channel because we would likely, and I'm talking about a big project because we would likely need some type of help crowdfunding down the line. Job persuading the old man. I mean, some, you know, something. So, everyone here would hear about it before anyone. A proper workbench. Anna, thank you and Artyom for helping us. I don't know what would have become of us without you. It is a cursed place. And that's illegal. Can we just go already? Don't thank us before it's all ready to go. It all hangs on Artyom now, so wish him luck. All right. Th good luck. Thank of you. Course. I'm out. God bless you, Artyom. Yep, let's go. Hi, Artyom. How are you, Horoshov? I'm better if you guys would shut up. I don't even mention it. Are we going now? Uncle Artyom, are you going on a mission? Yes. I just wanted to ask there where the big tanks are. If you find my teddy bear, just in case you do, could you bring him home? Now I gotta find your teddy bear? A demon oh my god. Him. A flying one. Demon? Flying one? Now look, I gotta talk to her now. What's up? Artyom, I haven't really thanked you properly for saving me from that stupid seller yet. You know, I didn't even get We'll let you know, dude, myself. guys. Trust me, the channel will because be the first I to know. you'd come and save me no matter what. Thank you, my love. Now, Mic go. and camera. The mic is a uh, Blue Yeti. Camera right now is a Logitech 920, I think it's called. I do want to get rid of the, the webcam, though. I don't like it. I want to... Believe it or not, I was going to hook up my... Yeah, way too much yapping. It's driving me nuts. Unless you mean me, in that case. Too bad. <laughs> this game is boring the shit out of me. Bro, shut up about your teddy bear. I got it. Holy Lord have mercy. They want me to go all the way across the map? How do I do that? Yeah, you and your demons. Alright, we've got a plan now. Capture a traitor tugboat. And infiltrate the bridge shanty town, lower the bridge, and cross the river. Sounds a bit con con convoluted. In the meantime, the Aurora crew is steadily increasing the first crest. Now, got blah 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 blah. Sure, blah 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 blah. Where the crest is hidden is rail car. Use it to tow passenger cars back to Aurora from the old train depot. So we have to get the train terminal here. All right. So you've got to plan out. Capture a traitor tugboat. Infiltrate. Infiltrate. Where is that tugboat at? There's the teddy bear. It's on the thing. Wow, really? That seems like it's so far away. Alright. That's weird. But okay. Let's go. I think it's the bandits. They are watching us. <laughs> the bandits are watching us. Don't forget to save your game progress. I thought you had auto save. Oh, uh, quick save. Those guys can't play for shit. Is that not how I save the game? Take the instrument from them. They were butchering the melodies. Oh, chat. Oh. For a fucking teddy bear? I know, right? Uh. Needs autobiographical film rise life. How he experienced a lot of shit. I could write a book, believe it or not. Uh, been through. I don't know. I could write a book. I. Uh, it wouldn't wrap up nicely, though. Real life has a lot of open ends, you know what I'm saying? So, like, there's a lot of crazy things that just had a sudden drop as far as 
you know, making certain deals, a lot of tensions, a lot of this, some things, you know, I don't know. I don't know what the... Wait. I can't run? Just sprint further, hold, to holster your weapon. Wait, wait, hold the fuck on. Alright, here's me regular. I'm gonna holster my weapon. Oh, I get it, because it's on a sling across my chest. Alright. Hey, there's bandits here. Bro, can I kill them? Bro, let's shoot some bandits. They've got to have, like, goodies. I don't have my silencer no more. They shot him. Bro, we gotta kill them though. Damn it! I wish I had my silencer. Wow, yeah, there's a lot of them. Fuck. Shit. Yikes. That didn't, that didn't, oh shit. No, what are you doing? Get under there, bro. Shit, I'm out of ammo. Drop your gun, bro. You won, man. What the hell is that? You this surrender? Ain't my day, I tell you. Not nope. my fucking day. Should have let that villager go, bro. Alright, chat. You thought there was too many of them, huh? I might have messed up a little, but I got what I needed. I got some shit now. Look at this. The band... <clears throat> we just turned into a bandit to fight some bandits. You gotta love it. Let's see the poor bastard they executed. <clears throat> 
There he was. Poor bastard. I'll take what he had. He had one. He had one friggin' screw. Have you ever played Dead Rising Remastered on PS4? Yeah, I think I even own it, too, on a disc. Uh, wasn't really impressed by it. It didn't age well. I remembered liking it when it first came out. I didn't have an Xbox, so I played it. It was a, an exclusive, I believe, at first, when it first came out. And I played it at my, uh, at the time, my girlfriend's uh, brother's house. And I remember liking it. But I didn't play all that much. Like, I didn't beat it or nothing. And then, a few years ago, it came out remastered on PS4, so I got it, and I didn't like it. I mean, I shouldn't say that. It just didn't age well. <laughs> I know I killed someone else. Where is he at? Okay. I only have one bullet? How the hell does that even work? How do I only got one bullet? I can't get up there to that other guy. Oh well. Oh well. Is there fall damage in this game? There's fall damage. Oh, come on. Yeah, the guy surrendered. What was my first NECA figure? My absolute first was... Let me think now. This is tricky because... If you... This is tricky. I don't know what came out first. The two-pack with Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Predator. The damaged one. The battle damaged. And then I remember, because it was right around the same time, give or take, I was in a store buying Juliet something, and I saw that. And I, and I wasn't into, I didn't know that they made shit like that. And I was like, oh my god, the Predator, it looks just like Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is a cool little toy. And um, the Predator, too, he has a little bit of the Predator blood. So I remember just buying that at Toys R Us. And I just put it on top of my... Uh, my my desk my office desk had just like a hutch and I just put it on top of there just with the books and shit as a little display, not thinking I would get any more or anything like that. And then all right, so okay, I did kill all the bandits. All right, good. I thought they were gonna screw me, but also when I started the channel, I was dumpster diving and somebody wanted something like to trade. So I, I sent them a package, and when they sent me some stuff to trade back, they knew I liked uh, The Predator, they knew I liked um, Friday the 13th, like Jason, Slasher, Horror, so they sent me like a little thank you. And in it was a NECA Friday the 13th Part 4, I think, Jason, the old one. It's single. It's the damaged Friday the Thirteenth Part Four Five damaged Jason, battle damage. Those were my first two NECA, if I remember correctly. I guess if I get a boat, that's how you can travel quicker. We're not that far away. Oh. 
Oh shit. Really? What the fuck is that? Did they, someone, did they explain what that is? Because I'm getting a little annoyed with some random ass electrical thing. Oh shit. Fuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck and I don't have any ammo. <laughs> Great. Ah. Do you have a plan to do some dumpster diving videos in the future? Probably not. If I if I end up doing any, it won't. No, just no. I'm gonna do one or two, but just no. More along the lines of guys, look at the reality of what's being thrown away. Like we are so incredibly wasteful, and it comes down to ridiculous things. Like there's just companies that they don't want to deal with having to um, give away or sell. They don't want to deal with that side of it. So it's simply, let's just break it down and throw it away. They throw away so much shit that can be scrapped, that can be, like you can make a good amount of money, in, in, not all year round, but for example, like around Christmas time or certain promotions. Like one time, for perfect example, they were promoting these new Turtle Beach headsets in Best Buy, Target, Walmart, they had a Turtle Beach display, and it was friggin' everywhere. It was in every store that was just like what I described. Well, after the the promotion was over, and it came time to take those out, every company they didn't break it down and send it back. No one came and collected it. Every company just literally tore it down and threw them away. And we're talking, it took up half the dumpster. They were big whole metal and, and plastic, like the big old displays with the headsets in them and everything. And the headsets were all display ones. Some didn't work. The ones in Best Buy worked, though, where you can actually, um, actually use them because customers were using them for whatever. But they end up, they'll cut the cords so that way no one can use them after the fact. But the whole metal display thing with all the art and imagery, and I'm talking, it was half a dumpster. That's how big it is. It filled up all that. And then when GameStop gets rid of game manuals, that's another thing. Every now and then they clean out game manuals, and we used to find dumpsters, a quarter of the dumpster filled with game manuals. You know the manuals everyone's buying for like 20 you know, $30? Well, at a certain point, they put them on clearance, and then instead of just doing a final buy something and take something free or whatever, you know, they just throw it out. Yeah, this right here. What is this stupid shit? It seems like it's just in here to block your path. For what reason, though? So do I gotta like dodge it? Whatever. It's dumb. Q&A. Uh, do you like this game? It's so boring. Uh, honestly, no. I re <sighs> no, I don't like it. I'll be honest. I think I could warm up to it. But the... The amount of talking... And the story that I just don't oh, cool, care about. Blood brother. Didn't see me, huh? The others don't either. I'm basically part of the scenery now. I heard you yeah. were to the terminal for the rail car. What do you guys think of what you see so far? Luckily, there is a dock with a boat nearby. Left there by the fanatics, it seems. Inside, there are just those, uh, um, humanimals. Look, I don't even have enough shit... To craft any bullets, maybe I'm playing the game wrong. Cause I can't even craft any bullets, bro. Yeah, I can't even make bullets. I'm having a hard 
hard time staying put. Oh well. See those ruins? There's a bandit camp there too. They have a sniper. I saw at least one scope flashing from the roof. So I wouldn't advise. And everyone talks so much too. The bridge is in full. If you like Game of Thrones, you should play Telltale God. I'd rather just watch somebody while I'm getting some work done. Have it playing in the background. I just... Not into that style of, of uh, game, to be honest. Not the way Telltale does it. Too clunky, too... Mm, yep, I worked in retail. They throw away stupid shit away. Yeah, yo... Ronnie should play Wolfenstein. Yeah, I, I got Wolfenstein. I got one of them. How long are you planning on streaming tonight? I don't know, to be honest. I was only planning on jumping off for an hour or two, but I feel like we haven't got nothing done, you know? Kane Hodder, he's the best Jason. The game, wait, this game looks like if you took all the fun out of Fallout 3 and made a game out of what's left. That's funny. Wait, I don't mean which movie. I mean which Jason is more badass. Which Jason? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, that's hard. I think that's hard to pick without having the movie cloud your bias, you know? Yeah, I like a few of them. I like the one from Jason Goes to Manhattan. I like the one from... Uh... Good hunting. Mm, yikes, that's tricky. I honestly don't have one. I really don't. Because it's a tie overall. The only ones I don't like, though, are... And I appreciate the mom being the killer for the first one. Uh, but I prefer what came out of that. I prefer having Jason being the killer. But it, it's all stupid, you know. The mom was the killer, but then the kid somehow was living the whole time. Like, it's all... Even the people who make it say it's ridiculous, but it's a way to keep the story going. Um, so, I don't know. Yeah, I gotta play the smart, cause I only have... This is the only... Wait, what's that? Something's over there. Let's go look over here. You guys hear that? What's that? You know, in these first-person games, and this is a problem with a lot of first-person games, it'd be fucking nice if the windows were actually where we'd be able to see in. Like, this is so fucking stupid. What is that noise? Oh, shit. Are you alive? He's dead. Come on. Anyone got bullets for me? Wow, that sounds like a bear. Oh shit, I did find bullets. How many tables am I going to find where you can craft shit? But I can't find any stuff to use for crafting. What is that? 2009 Jason is badass in the movie. Ooh, you know what? Uh, I like him too. I don't know. I got nostalgia though for some of the older ones. Like Kane Hodder's the man, you know? Um, I am not as fussy though as the fan base. I know some of the fan base is like Kane Hodder needs to do the Jason or else it doesn't count. Like there's no other Jason, but 
Uh, I'm just not picky. As long as how it looks on the outside and how he moves and stuff like that and it looks neat. I don't like the Jason with the... What Jason is that with the utility belt and shit? I'll be honest. I don't like that Jason. The way he looks visually. NECA has the figure. I would like to get it out of package and see how it looks. Uh, because I really like that zombie Jason face that's with it. But I think Jason looks kind of stupid with, you know, <laughs> um, a tool belt. It just looks dumb. <laughs> What's my favorite band or artist? I'm boring, bro. I don't got one. I really don't. At this point in time, I really don't. I'm a soundtrack guy. I like... There's bands that... It's weird. 90% of their music I don't like, but they have that one song that I'm like, oh my god, I love it, you know? But I don't have, like, favorite bands or nothing. I'm a soundtrack guy. Would you like to see Friday the 13th reboot? Yeah, but done right, you know? Stream Beetlejuice? Yeah, right. I love Beetlejuice, but... I don't know how we would stream it. What is that? I hear someone. So is this a bandit outpost? I don't get it. Oh, I got Molotovs, bro. It's on, yo. We are going to burn the shit out of them. What is going on down here? I almost missed that. I almost hit it. Alright. What is going on down here? Oh, I could take you out, bro. Whoa, they got like a wolf or something. See? Some of this is cool. Like, I like how this looks. Wait, something's happened. My, my thing is vibrating. I like how this looks. I like the idea of roaming around here and getting shit done, but... Wow, there's a lot of them, bro. There's the bitch. dead <laughs> oh shit gotta take them out because I need their ammo whoa what oh, wait a minute I gotta do something with this gun what is it though oh my god I forget no give me that back I had to see this is the stupid shit I'm talking about I gotta pump this gun there we go. To get it to work. Why? Can I just use it? Alright, there we go. Oh, shit. Alright. Oh, 
Damn. You do move a little slow in here. I really want to zip. Kind of like Call of Duty. But you can't do that. Yeah, the, and I turned up my sensitivity too. Oh, shit. Yo, he shot. Oh, I got to get out of here. get over there come on get up there there you go oh my god oh shit <gasps> I'm dead Soundiness is a bit off, too. Damn it. Come on, come on. Where'd he go? Did someone kill him? It's kind of neat how you could take apart parts of people's guns and stuff. I still don't have any ammo. Bro, shut up. I hear you. I really would like to know what I'm taking apart. Let us out, please. Don't leave us out, please. Though you are a heretic, we will pray for the salvation of your soul for as long as we live. God bless you. Yeah, just go before I change my mind. Oh, hell yeah. Watch him get on his knees. There's a room in the terminal. <laughs> Easy, bro. We bring all the sinful things there for the fish to purify them. Here, take this key. You're a sinner anyway, and there might be something of use for you there. Wait, what are you trying to say? Come on, take it. Simon, you mustn't. Celantius will excommunicate you for that. He won't if you don't tell him. Or perhaps you'd rather die here, by a heathen's blade. Oh, of course not. I won't tell. Can I shoot him? Ooh, what is that? Wait a minute. What is this? Ooh, that's what I had, but... Oh, man, I don't know what he did with it, but I'm trading. Hell, yeah. I like his gun. Yo, what did I have here? I think that's a bulletproof vest. See, don't doesn't it feel like I'm looting like a lot of shit? But then when I sit down to to um craft, it's like oh you barely have shit to craft. It's not what I wanted to do.
I don't know if I have to burn these down. Because I know, remember in the beginning that spider came at me? I don't know if maybe if you don't burn them down, the spiders attack you. Am I even getting anything from these? Oh, you're just... I freed you and you're just chilling here? What is the matter with you? Alright, I think I looted everything. He's got a playing card in his hand. Wasn't he, uh, fighting me? <laughs> I don't get it. That was actually really cool, though, when shit popped off and I hid behind the wall and the wall blew apart. I was like, oh, shit. I thought maybe the rest of the walls would blow apart if they were shooting at me, but they didn't all explode, just some of them. That was cool as shit, though. I like that. I gotta heal. That's funny. Justin was looking forever for his copy Resident Evil, and then he, after 10 minutes, he realized uh, he downloaded it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I did that with uh, Telltale's The Walking Dead, but only because. You know, I got them over such a long period of time, and then uh, I keep doing this too. And then I forgot which was on the PS3, which was on a PS4, which was physical, which was download. All right, I got a hundred. You know, I cost five of those, but I got no. What you call it? You either have a lot of the beaker and no gears, or the other way around. That was pretty neat. Uh, and we still have such a far way to go. Straight. Okay, there we go. Just gotta go straight. I gotta be careful this time not to fall to my death. That sucked. <gasps> Son of a bitch. Are you fucking serious? Oh, if you shoot it, it runs away? That's actually pretty neat. That way you don't have to go full out crazy Rambo murdering every animal or monster you come across. Just shoot some of them and keep it moving. There we go. Out. I got six bullets in that. I only got two bullets in this. That's just great. Ron, are you going neck deep? <sighs> Trying to. I keep falling asleep. What time is it for you right now? What time do you think you'll end this stream? It is 10.30 and probably within the next few minutes to... Yeah, probably soon. We're going to be ending soon. We're almost at a two hour. You know, I thought we would jump in and give this game another try. Another try fresh. The tricky thing is, at this point, I'm still not like I hate it. I still would recommend people wait for it to drop between 40 and $20 before you get it. 
Whoa, there's more bandits? However, I don't have bullets for this shit. I really don't. However, as it is, I still would like to... I meant to fucking throw the can. Still for a teddy bear, right? No, I think the teddy bear you get if you want to while you're out there, but you're supposed to be meeting with somebody or doing something. I'll be honest, with all the talking, I just kind of check out after a bit. Because keep in mind, it's not like it's, oh yeah, the mission and the plot. It's like, yeah, I was out here and got drunk and then I went over here and then I fucked my sister and then I, I was like, yo, that's not right. And I prayed over here and I walked back over to the road and it's like 30 minutes later they go, and by the way, you need to go get a battery and put it in the car to go over to the boat and shoot the dog and get the teddy bear and it's kind of, it gets jumbled in the, the bullshit that you're just sick of hearing. And I know some people are probably out there who like that talking about the game, opening the world up. But I just don't think it's necessary for the first couple hours when you play a game like this. It should be getting the controls in the world, doing that world building, at the same time you're telling the story. Every game does it different, you know? But, I don't know. Yeah, we next week we most likely are going to be doing Michonne's game. I don't think we're going to be if anything we're going to be bouncing around. I do know I do know we will be doing a little Fortnite on the Ronnie Hayes channel. Not tomorrow. My whole day is shot tomorrow until our live stream tomorrow night. But uh coming up this next week between Monday and Friday, we're going to be doing a little tiny bit of Fortnite on the Ronnie Hayes channel, and that's because I need to get some missions done or something. And we, it shuts off in four days. That's why I said we have with we got to do it soon. But we're also going to be streaming the Michonne game. There's only three chapters in that, or three stories, three episodes rather. So I will look up some people playing this game and see what I'm doing wrong. I think I have to be doing something wrong. The only thing that frustrates me is uh, you either get people playing it live on stream and I'll look up people playing it live because I did jump in in the first person that came up for episode one. I think people pl play it and then they make it seem like that was their first playthrough and it's like they did everything right. But if you watch closely at certain moments you can see where they edited it they edit it where they die. And I wish they would just mention something like, oh man, that took me like four or five times to get, get through instead of just talking as if it's the first time, you know? That gets a little annoying. Bro, did that not hit? Do we have Bloom? Are you fucking shitting me? Whoa! Ho oh, ho! I'm fucked. I'm so fucked. He's stuck in the air. Oh my god. Stuck. Bro, are they getting stuck? What is going on? Oh, 
shit. Damn. Ooh, this is different. What is this? I have zero bullets in that gun. I have two bullets in this gun. Shit. That's it. So fucked. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's my lighter. That's my backpack. Can I make a med kit? Yeah, I can make a med kit. There we go. Can I make bullets? Oh, 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 shit. I can make these. Oh, it's on now. You guys don't know who you're fucking with. And then I take a shot in the head and die. I <laughs> got him twice. Over here. He's here. Where'd they go? Oh, is that a point of even searching now? Go figure. Shit. See me? See the last one left? Bro, I think he put his arms up. Like he was gonna give up. Man, these bandits, they better realize. They better recognize. What is. Yeah, they better recognize, yo. Ooh, what's in here? Oh, what is that, yo? Ho oh, ho, I think that's like some super duper armor. Be nice if it told us what it was, though. Some of these guns look really cool. I just don't know if I'd be better off switching guns. Maybe I have bullets for those other guns. Well, I picked up bullets somewhere.
holding square down is beginning to be a pain in my ass. I'll tell you that right now. You can't you can't quickly search anything. Everything you have to like literally. Oh shit. Whoa, what gun is this? Bro, that's not my shotgun. There's my shotgun. Son of a bitch. I, uh, oh. Woo! Somewhere. Somewhere along the way, I, I picked up this gun somehow. Yeah, I messed something up. I picked up this gun. Shit. fucking out. How does that break my ankles? I really want to know. Oh my god, they can come in. Oh, I blew his head up. Shut the door. Shut the door. Why can't I shut the door? Oh my god, why can't you shut the door? Not moving. <laughs> oh, that sucked so bad. Are they all dead? save oh my god that kind of ruins it it's better with no definitive in my opinion what happened i like the weather change that just came like this that is cool man i like that part a lot like that is really cool Damn, that's one thing I dig. I dig the atmosphere in this a lot. Get stuck in walls 24-7, sounds like monkeys. Have you done stop motion? I've never done it. No. Yo, Ronnie, what happens to your man, uh, Charmander? I don't know. He got sick of us, I guess. you see the guy speed run through the last of us ungrounded in under three hours in my opinion it's a hilarious to watch and disgraceful to the game at the same time what do you think oh i'd have to watch it in order to formulate an opinion i i don't i don't imagine what you mean by it's hilarious and disgraceful at the same time <laughs> bro i like this shit a lot bro i say bro way too much but yo <laughs> Man, I'm a sucker for atmosphere, and this would be such a... Damn, that would be so cool if the game wasn't what it was. If it was just slightly different, with a better story. Even the monsters are a little... How do I say? Clunky. Like, you play this, and then go and look at The Last of Us 2 gameplay. And I know a lot of people are saying it's not going to look like that when it comes out. And it might not look like that when it comes out. But, oh shit, I'm here where I need to be. But look at this compared to The Last of Us 2, and it's like a whole new world. But first person is very different. It's always been different for some reason.
Oh, you can only hold 60? No, I can't craft any. Never mind. Why is it orange? Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think we're going to take a break here and uh, if we do come back to this, we'll pick up where, where it's at now. I'll take a few questions, I think, to finish this out. Yeah, look at that atmosphere, though. I like that atmosphere. Yeah, because I think when I start this way, I know, jump right into the boat and go get the, the job done, you know? So I think I'm supposed to take this boat somewhere over by that question mark. Imagine having just like an open world Walking Dead game like this, even if it was in first person with these type of graphics and everything. I think this is fine, especially with the the whatchamacallit. I mean, the characters, the, the monsters and characters get a little clunky, but imagine with the weather changing and it's open world, you can run into some bandits. I would prefer if it was, you know, a little more cleaner than this as far as the graphics, but that would still be kind of really cool, man. I would enjoy that a lot. And keep the story simple. Especially for beginning, if you're just getting it going off the ground. Like, keep the story simple. Have a... <gasps> I'm out, bitch. I'm out of here. Have a... So it's tricky. You want to find survivors, but you don't want the story to be limited to not being able to do anything with this, those survivors you find. Aliens from Pitch Black? I don't remember those. It's been a long time since I saw Pitch Black. Yo, Ronnie, what happened to your man Charmander? I don't know. Uh, I recommend God of War for a time when you're bored or just looking for something to play in between The Walking Dead Episode 4 and Days Gone. Uh, I'm not going to be playing God of War. I've played it before. I know what it is, and I do want to play like the whole series. My brother right now has the whole 1, 2, 3, and 4, I think. That's 4, right? And I'm going to borrow them off him soon, but probably not before then. We got enough lined up to cover the gap. Wait, Aaron P. with the 2K Dono. Do a live stream. Floppy cocks and neck deep. And Oh, yeah, bro. We'll get it done. You just put that 2K Dono into the PayPal. and it has to be family and friend, though. I'm not going to have you charge it back when it's done <laughs> saying you bought something and you uh didn't get it i ain't dumb well i am but sometimes i'm smart um but you you put in that 2k bro we'll go neck deep we'll set up a date and a time and we'll go neck deep for 24 hours it'll be called the neck deep marathon 24 hour marathon Tiffany Sullivan with a $20 dono. Do you think Season 10 will be all Whisperer War? All Out War was botched, but, but Kang seems to have a better feel than Gimple. I think it's too early for Commonwealth thoughts. I agree. I think Season 10 should be all Whisperer War. Now, keep in mind, even with where it's going to end in Season 9, because we know it's going to end with a big death, and then there's an episode after to reel from the big deaths. Comic book fans know what that is. It's the ultimate threat. Here's a border. Do not cross it. It's pretty simple. Well, even in the comic, they didn't go to war right away. They weren't like, oh, shit. There was a lot of politics involved. Matter of fact, that politics, he almost got Rick killed. People were against Rick. There was a, there was a good buildup. So knowing that and knowing... How they do things based on halves of the season. Eight episodes and then eight episodes. It only makes sense that they're not going to come back season 10 episode 1 diving into war. 
It's going to be the reeling from what happened, and it's going to be the realization that we can't take this enemy lightly. I mean, they could bring that herd, that walker herd. We're not going to survive that. And we need our communities in order to survive that. And f I'm sorry, we need our communities to fight them. But if they can level our communities with one attack, how are we going to fight them in the long run? And that is amplified by the fact that this is not the same as when it was in the past. You could just move, you know, go to a different scavenge on the road and go to a different location. No, once you can't find canned food anymore, you either stick to a place where you can grow your own crops or hunt your own food, or you're going to have a hard time dealing with large amounts and again that's very different than one or two guys going out and living on their own that's why the native americans didn't do well when the the white man forced them into certain reservations or certain areas or certain places because they had to uproot they had to take their whole tribe it, you know it takes a lot to feed a tribe and then on top of that if you don't make it by the time a certain season comes in you're it's it's bad news so I think all of Season 10 isn't going to be the Whisperer of War, but I do think we won't even get to the Whisperer of War for a few episodes at the very earliest in Season 10. But as far as um, introducing us to the Commonwealth storyline, it should come somewhere in Season 10 because they got to build that introduction sooner, not just let it sit. That armor you picked up can be put on at the bench. Wait a minute, you gotta put that shit on? My bad, I thought you automatically just had the armor. Let me see here. Oh, here we go. You got guns. What's this? Closed. Oh, look at that. Shit. What did I do? There we go. Got a red laser. Man, I gotta clean off that gun. Wow, I gotta clean that gun off. That's the only thing that annoys me, to having to do shit like that. <laughs> I just don't find that that fun. Alright, here's the armor. Carrier vest allows carrying a limited amount of ammunition, throwing weapons and consumables such as med kits and filters. Ammo pouches, additional ammunition storage. The adjustment straps ensure a comfortable fit. Oh, shit. Okay. Throwing weapons harness. All right, so I could put that on and then that on. Oh, all right. Additional straps and pockets for throwing weapons allowing the wearer to double their stocks. Hell yeah. Wait, I don't get it. Oh, I'm wearing that one. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. So you have to pick and choose between the ammo pouches and the throwing weapons harness? Damn. I don't know now. I feel like the ammo would be more important. Well, we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, we'll see how it plays out. Because I don't even have that many throwing knives or throwing anything. So why would I need that vest over the ammo one? talk the walking dead 911 tomorrow can't wait oh i can't wait for that either i'm actually excited about tomorrow's episode
If there is there a stream if there's no episode, why wouldn't there be an episode? Do you mean when The Walking Dead is not airing? Yeah, we all we stream every Sunday no matter what. When The Walking Dead is not airing, it's it turns random at that point. Sometimes we do a video game stream, sometimes we do um you know, talking anything, sometimes we do multiple news announcements and stuff. You think season 10 is going to introduce the princess in the finale? Why is that? I mean, the princess didn't even get introduced to... Well, okay, if you already have them going to the combo wall, that's if they stick with that type of storyline. Um, I'm good if we don't get the princess till 11. We already got... Well, then again, they are losing people, so it makes sense to bring in a character. No, I don't watch Hell on Wheels. I heard it's good, though. I just haven't watched it. Yeah, I'm done for the night. We're about to shut it down. If you missed it, and again, thank you very much, Tiffany Sullivan, for the uh, $20 dono. We are putting the Super Chat donos. The way Super Chats come in, though, they're staggered, so I won't get the Super Chat donos now. I won't get them until the end of, uh, what's today, February, uh, March, April, probably May. I think it's like a two-month stagger. So the ones we're getting now, and that's after the 20, the ones before the 22nd, we'll get those in April. The ones after the 22nd, we get those in uh, May. Or, I'm sorry, it's like the 18th. It doesn't matter. The point is, half of the month, it's the the closest month coming. The back half of the month, it's the, the month following. So the Super Chats that come in from now until, you know, like... The, fucking march 14th those we won't get until may so we're going to definitely build those up and then when depending on what's coming out at that time we're gonna definitely grab something to follow days gone uh, i'm real excited about that i hope that's good because balancing the video game stuff with some of the polished i'm real curious to see how that works coming in january i'm sorry march that should give us enough time to really see where we're going to be at uh, with the future of the channel towards the end of the year. So thank you very much for the donos. I appreciate those. And if you guys got any other requests for stuff to do in between, always let me know. We'll always be looking for deals on some games, whether it's digital or it's physical, and we'll pick some up here and there. We have a stack to check out. We still got to do a little bit of Resident Evil 2. I don't mind bouncing back and forth. Uh, what else was there? There was... What was that one some people asked for? Until Dawn. And again, we're not playing the whole game. We're just popping in, checking out a few things. Yeah, we get PayPal donos. We get those immediately. YouTube make an interest on your super chats question mark. <laughs> no, they, they take a percentage. I think they take about 35 or 40 percent, but it's just simply how the payout is done. I, I'm not sure. I do know on payroll side of things. All right. It makes sense to have somebody always a month ahead because you're doing build up. But the way ad revenue works is it's not like a regular job where you work a consistent amount of hours. There's nothing to figure out. You work, you get paid. It's it's simple as that. With ad revenue, it all matters on what you actually make. Like what actually happens is what you make as far as what type of ads, how long do they run, how often you upload. So you have to get a full month done before you collect enough to ask for your money and then it's got that stagger to it um i'm not explaining it well but it's just like when you go for a job and payroll doesn't pay out for the next month for you when you're new it's just like that you know it's the same thing it's just staggered i'm just not doing a good job at explaining it Uh, Streamlabs composes well with streaming. Yeah, there's a lot of things I got to get time to just look up. I, I was going to just do Streamlabs, but when I went to look it up, it was like Streamlabs or OBS. And then I looked up a few videos on tutorials, and some people are just real shit 
at explaining a quick explanation of like what's different and why and yada 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 it's they, i don't know it's i listened to a handful of videos and just said i'll i'll deal with it later do you think kirkman pers purposefully made the commonwealth arc lame to screw the tv show no that doesn't make any sense that the that would what what's the saying to uh cut off your nose to spite your face you know that that would that would not make a lick of sense at all He's only hurting himself in the end, you know? Yeah, that does no, that's not true at all. There's no truth to that whatsoever. Kirkman wouldn't hurt his own comic, which doesn't do nowhere near as well as the show, just to hurt the show when that's a real flimsy attempt. You know what I mean? Because if the, the Commonwealth storyline sucks, they'll just write a new storyline for the show. They don't have to do the comic stuff. They don't have to do that at all. Season 10 needs to set up the next arc, but it's little things, you know? It's contact on the radio, slowly talking to the person, that stuff. Maybe getting people to travel. Tiffany Sullivan, um, are you serious? Fuck, I'll stick with PayPal then. That should be in the next day. That is crazy, but you're a welcome bro. That is a great channel. I appreciate that. Yeah, I don't know why youtube does it that way they're already getting a cut you figure there would be a system where you know paypal will say or uh, i'm sorry youtube would say okay you get your super chats and then we'll put it um we'll do payouts i don't you figure there'd be an automated system like that but it, it's not they collect it from this date to this date and you either get the payment the following month or the following two months I understand why it's staggered, though. Keep in mind, I'm doing a terrible job at explaining it, but having it staggered is a common uh, payroll thing. That's common practice, and that's simply because if I'm working on your payroll this week, you know, and I, I'm paying you at the at, on Monday, let's say, you're earning money right now. So instead of that being active while I'm physically doing your payroll, that spills over to the next month. I understand the process of payroll, but I'm doing a terrible job explaining it. But I do agree that um, YouTube should have a better payout system. Like what PayPal donations go in there, uh, not only are they immediate, but it's literally immediate. You can send me $50 on PayPal 10 seconds later, I can spend that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's it's there. YouTube should have something that's a little quicker. Like, maybe every two weeks, collect your Super Chat. They're already collecting, you know what I'm saying? What, 35 or 40%? I forget what someone said. It's like, hot damn. <laughs> you should have a system set up that's a little on point. But I appreciate however it's set up. I mean, there's there, there's pros and cons to either or. But I, I appreciate it all. I'm keeping it to where the, the live stream YouTube will be hard to figure out. Because they just put that in with your ad revenue. That gets real tricky. Because the, your super chats, it's, it's real... F I don't know, man. I don't like it. I wish it was separate. YouTube doesn't show you clearly what you make with super chats and all that. You can look at your super chats, but they don't try to help explain how much they take. I mean, you really got to look into it and really got to do math yourself. They'll show you a list of the super chats that came in. And then um, as far as I know, unless there's a page I don't know of, that just gets incorporated into what you make ad revenue wise each month. So your ad revenue, let's say we have a really good super chat and we had um, people tip, let's say $3,000 in one night. We did a 24-hour marathon and people went nuts and they tipped and we made $3,000, $4,000. Your ad revenue, ad revenue looks like you will be making three to $4,000 a month because it's, it's calculating your super chats, not just ad revenue. So it's real messed up. So then you'll be looking at this number that doesn't do you any good because once that once all that money comes in that donate those donations come in, 
you're not actually estimated to make that money because YouTube shows you an estimate. Once they pay that out, your $4,000 estimate every month for ad revenue drops down to whatever it normally is, let's say five or $600, you know? So I think their whole system for creators is flawed. I mean, I personally feel like it it's flawed on purpose t so you don't fully see how much they are actually taking from creators uh, because ad revenue-wise, creators are only getting like 10% of the ads. You know what I'm saying? Like companies are coming in spending hundreds of thousands of dollars on ads and YouTubers get like a just a, a little lick of that lollipop. If you look at the full numbers, they're only getting a lick out of that shit. Yeah, it just needs to tell you what's what and be clear with it. But listen, one day I will try to find that screen again that shows you YouTubers make. And this was when I was doing, I think I was doing like a, a marathon of Walking Dead videos. And every video every day was like 20,000 to 50,000 views every single day. We were doing one video. I think it was when I was doing the marathon of Q&As to say thank you to the channel. I did that a few years ago because we were growing and we just hit like 50,000 subscribers. Well, I was messing around with the analytics and I remember coming to the analytics that shows what YouTube actually gets paid per day, per video of mine. And I remember seeing these numbers that were outrageous, hundreds of dollars, thousands of dollars every single day out of all my videos, how much ad revenue was coming in just coming in that's like the how much they're being paid ad revenue wise and i remember at the bottom you can compare it to what you get paid out and i'm shit you not if i could find that page i don't know if it was a glitch in their system or if that page still is there but you can literally see how they'll pull in eight nine hundred dollars off all your videos for ads in one day but you're getting thirty dollars out of that you know it's that's how big of a difference i believe it is because i know i saw that page i know i did i sat there for an hour looking at all the numbers going what this is insane uh, because youtube doesn't just break bread with advertisers or with youtubers like we sold ten thousand dollars worth of ads on your videos they don't go, here's five grand, we keep five grand. No, they go, here's 50 bucks, we're keeping the rest. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> here's a dollar per click or per thousand clicks. Sorry, sorry, per thousand clicks. Whatever, bro. Anyway, I shouldn't say that anymore until I have the, the definitive proof to back that up. But I never hear any YouTubers saying that. But I wouldn't want to buck... Um, I wouldn't want to buck YouTube just for the simple fact that that's, this didn't exist when I was growing up. I would have loved to be 15, 16. I would have went head on into YouTube and made a mint. You know, back then, oh my God, bro, I would have made a mint. It's different now. I got a kid and I kind of don't want to be a little shit face on YouTube. But if I was in it just for the money, I know exactly what I would do. And I'd be... Um, I'd be rich in a year. Easy. That's You could take that to the bank, guaranteed. Because it, it doesn't take much to look at what what is popular and what will shoot you up. Because people know you could do something scandalous and just say sorry later. As long as it's not so offensive where it's unforgivable, which is a pretty big thing, you could do a lot just to boost that up. But I'm going to shut Can this I down. I, you didn't do your bath like I asked you to. What is it? Can I just show you this thing? I'm done. Yeah, let me say goodbye and I'll see that because I need that phone back anyway. Um, you want to say goodnight? I'm yeah. shutting this down. Okay, fine, whatever. All right, thank you guys for hanging out and checking out Metro Exodus with me again. Remember, tomorrow we're going to be doing The Walking Dead. Every single Sunday we talk about the newest episode or whatever is going on. 10.30 Eastern, Stand Eastern Standard Time. And then starting Monday we're going to be doing Telltale's Michonne uh, or something else. It all depends on what type of news or information drops that day. So thank you very much. Have a good night. Thank you for the super chats, the Patreon support, the direct to PayPal links. 
I'm sorry, donations. You can find all those links down in the, the comment box down below, the video description down below. I'm going, I'm going, I'm screwing this up. Julius rushed me. She wants to show me something, so I got to bounce. Love you guys. Good night.